coming down there, Via Nazionale, where we were up before with the um, Santa Maria Basilica at the top, coming all in the fountains. That road to the left here is just where I come down now from the uh, Quirinale. It's a nice kind of high wall there. And here we're coming into the area, there's all these palm trees and a big one in the middle. Reminds me of Warsaw, although it's only a plastic one in the round about there. And this uh, rather impressive column here, and there over there we've got the tr Triano stuff, columns and things, which is what I'm aiming at now. And we're getting into the area where things are going to be coming thick and fast as far as architectural treasures are concerned. In the meantime, I. Uh, had a small stop at a cafe just to have the smallest possible but regular meal which is apparently good if you're losing weight so don't blame me for that um, after all I'm pretty much walking the whole time I think these are based on some of the Roman street signs some of them may be uh, look as though they're real but that's not really Latin it's old Italian it's Dante's Inferno Quatrain number 26 Fatti non foste viver come brutte ma per seguir virtute conoscenza um, or you weren't made to live like brute animals but in order to follow virtue and conscience by the looks of it I don't speak medieval Italian that well Okay, errare humanum est per servare autem uh, diabolicum et tertianum datur. Okay, uh, I think I know what it means. It is to 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 err is human to keep to keep to keep on doing the same as as of the devil. Et tertianum datur. It sounds like don't give in to third parties or something, but I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't, didn't really bother with an awful lot of Latin. Qui gladio ferit. Gladio perit. There you go. He who lives by the, the sword will perish by the sword. Um, Roma is obvious. That's what they put over Roma people. Showing them where they're allowed to beg. Um, SPQR. I didn't know what that means, but I've forgotten. I think it's the football team. And uh, here we go. Attenti al cane e al padrone. Beware of the dog and its owner. There's Weenie Weedy Weechi by Julius Caesar. I came, I saw, I fell in love. That was Manhattan Transfer. Um, 
as I came I saw I conquered. The, uh, this is what he said of, of, of England, or the, the Isle of Britain as it was then. They uh, thought that he was calling them all weeny, weedy and weaky. We are allowed to cross the road, are we not? Oh, maybe I'm not after all. Thank you, Mr. DL414EP, for your kindness and allowing me to cross the road more slowly than I otherwise would have done. So, what is this? Mercato, Mercati di Traiano, Torre delle Milizie. So, Traiano's markets. Archaeological area, watch out. That's thanks, Mary. Evidently Mary must have done something for that guy and he wrote up a quick thanks Mary on the wall. So there we are, this is the archetypal Rome, a staircase everywhere. And there's Triano's column. Oh, there we go. Suddenly appearing. Lovely sight. There is columns and things all over the place. So this looks like it's the um, it's sealed off as the original Roman relic. So we're getting into downtown Rome now. Da 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 downtown so there he is old thing of Egypt Triano and there's the uh, there's the old symbols written on it of the Roman Empire it's one of the latest pieces of architectural work of ancient Rome well, there we are with all the uh, this is a sort of spiral going up from the bottom to the top showing um, almost like a tapestry, various exploits of the Roman soldiers. Very good. So here we have bits of original relic. It looks like a bomb's hit it, but something worse than a bomb's hit it. Time. Time does this. Just about anything that human beings create. It's very, very, very temporary. And it takes the greatest care by some people, a minority of people that care about these things, 
they have to sometimes move mountains to be allowed even just to protect the the rock. People otherwise come in. You know, this is how it is. I mean, this is just a little bit left of, of a great city. And there's more of it further on down there, of course, but uh, there's still not much of it. Yeah? And yet if you gave people, you know, a few weeks of free-for-all, this would just be carved up. I mean, if you wonder about that, there's a, there's a, a modern example. Um, the Berlin Wall, that most of us can remember. The Berlin Wall. It was a huge structure, actually, um, of modern times. People, of course, didn't like it. And you could say that just about anything from human history has always had its opponents. But uh, generally speaking, the popular feeling against the Berlin Wall was very high. And uh, the minute the authorities were no longer guarding the Berlin Wall, um, people started to take their little hammers from home, just get up onto it and start chipping away at it. Bits of it were being sold or given away from hand to hand as souvenirs. I think I've got a bit of it myself somewhere that my old friend Richard Hibbs gave to me when he went and did his bit of chipping. But uh, what it resulted in, and there's some Chinese folk, I'll talk about the Ch Wall of China in a minute, because it's the same story there. Um, the Berlin Wall was completely decimated, more than decimated, you just don't see it. There's just certain areas where some of it still exists because it's got a protective zone built up around it, just like this one. And if the authorities hadn't bothered to do that, then that would have been taken down as well. And I'm not talking about years or decades or hundreds of years, or as in this case, two thousands of years, to, to dismantle something. I'm talking about a few weeks. And that is without the need of any military equipment. Because people, you, you know, you all know about how... Um, well, there's that SPQR again on there. SPQR. We, we all know about how, you know, when, when soldiers go into place and start wrecking it on orders, you know, then things happen like, happened to Warsaw in 1945. Um, Roman soldiers told to sack Jerusalem in AD 70, described by Josephus in his history. The title, the exact title, which I can't remember. That somebody could write it in the comments for me. But, um, you know, within a few weeks, not one stone left upon another. You can understand that when soldiers go in to wreck a place with machinery of various sorts, or weaponry of various sorts, but just ordinary people, just with the tools that they have at their house, at houses, when they get their head to something, I'll have this brick, or well, these bricks would do for my lean-to. They can take material away in a very, very short space of time. So, effectively, what archaeologists ever have left to work with is a tiny, a tiny, tiny, tiny proportion of what human beings have left behind and not recycled. Things seen one generation later as awful, ugly structures, including things like the, the, what we have now, the taking down of structures in the communist period, would be regarded several generations down the line again as terrifically short-sighted behaviour and an awful loss because of ignoring something which was in fact a proper and important part of the history of the given country. 
got the old horse and carts, uh, inevitable. So, sort of Roman soldier with a sort of breastplate on. It's very nice. Another one there. Thank <laughs> you.